Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. I hope this finds everyone well. We are looking at a mosaic from NASA's rover Curiosity from Sol 1450, purportedly on the surface of Mars. There is nothing innocent about this image at all. And we're going to start out by looking at something that we talked about in the last presentation, right here on the surface. Now, many viewers, most viewers agree that there appears to be RIP written at the top and 6631 or 1631. It looks like numerals and letters. What is up with that? Now, here's our size reference. Martian Missy is five foot two. We're going to call her because that rise behind her is about 20 feet, and that's it. There is a lot of evidence here, folks, but I want you to get an idea of how small this stuff is actually. Now, we had cranked the contrast up in this just a little. But what we're going to do is go to another image with a different type viewer where I'm just going to move around where we've got some super contrast. I put a special filter on this and things that are metallic. Now that's 20 feet back there, a 20 foot rise. Okay. Things that are metallic really seem to shine with this filter. Look at that. Absolutely metallic and artificial all around it. Metallic. Certainly not rock formations, more metal. Let's do this. Let's back out and move down to the bottom left area and just kind of move across and look. I'll, I'll zoom in at times so you can see some of the detail. And sometimes I'll, I'll zoom out for the sake of uh, context. There is so much going on in this image that is so obviously not natural geologic formations. All this can be seen in the original. It just comes out so much better when you throw some contrast on it. And I truly believe that's the reason that they don't present them this way. These pictures are highly fraudulent. If you can't see that something is going on, I, at this point, I don't know what to do for you. If you absolutely refuse to look. And we've only got a few options here, folks, really. I, Either they are exploring a civilization that has been annihilated, some type of genocide on the surface of Mars. Now there's uh, our numerals and RIP again. Either they're doing that or we're not on Mars at all. We're somewhere on Earth. But then the question comes up, why would they do this on Earth and then lie about it but leave clues everywhere. Why would they do it on Mars? Why would they do it anywhere? There's some type of, uh, <laughs> I really hate to say that they're doing a, a psych program on us, but you know, they really may be because this is just too obvious. That's very interesting. What is that object to the right? Almost looks like a toy dinosaur. I'm not saying it is. Whatever it is, it looks very metallic. You know, a lot of the orange that we see in these images, the orangey brown, if, if you look at it here, you, you might notice why I've been saying for a long time that I think most of that is absolutely fraudulent. It's a digital facade they're putting on there to look like dirt covering the surface. It's something they're using to paint over what is mostly a metallic area of devastation. But it's also very strange, once again, that they don't cover all of it. But there it is, right in front of your eyes. Folks, this is not a rocky planet. that NASA is investigating. Whether it be on Mars or on Earth, this is a world of metal. All these buttes and hills that we're seeing, they're structures. And I believe even that dark brown, I think most of that's not sand. 
We looked at a lot of it really close. It doesn't look natural. That's part of the cover-up. I said years ago that 70, 80, 90 percent or more of some of these images is false. It's fake. It's fraudulent. And I stand by that today. I was laughed at once for an image. I said, I don't think there's a single rock in the entire image. I'm not saying there's no rocks on Mars. If they are on Mars, I'm saying there's some images that it's made to look as if there's rocks lying about, strewn about. They're not rocks. It's debris. Whether it is Mars or whether it is on Earth, wherever it is, this is some type of genocide. I'm assuming genocide. I'm assuming there was a lot of death here. Now this is that area I'm moving the cursor on there. That's further in the back. And we really start losing uh, information when we start looking back there. But just look across here. Absolute destruction of something made. I can't say man-made. Some intelligent design. And when you look at all this, this is why it's so ridiculous when NASA puts a picture out and the media runs with it. There's a little, looks like a little blob of metal out there somewhere. There's even people out there that make a big deal about it and say, look what I found. Look at all of this. It's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Now we're looking a little further out into the distance here. I, I don't have the exact distance. I, I could measure it. But you're going to see in a moment when we move to another image. I, I think you saw it already. There's something that looks very much like a pyramid. I'm not saying it is a pyramid. Whatever it is. Uh, it's metallic. This is the base of it right here. You can see the metal there. I don't think that's metal protruding from the dirt. I think there's metal everywhere and they're covering it up with orange-brown Photoshop paint. Okay, there's that uh, pyramid looking thing that I was talking about. And we've blurred it here so you can see to the back. Notice in the back there is some type of uh, edging here, a wall takes a steep turn to the left. I don't know if that's 90 degrees or not. Looks like a border, I think is the word we're looking for. And that other area down there that I'm circling, that doesn't look natural at all. And very unnaturally, there's some dirt covering up and most of it and just leaving that one little section. And continue to look behind it here. Just look carefully. There's a lot of metal. A lot of debris, a lot of destruction, not of rocks, not of a natural environment. That looks like something either melted there or, or I guess perhaps that was the design that they had originally. NASA leaves this just blurry enough where you just can't quite make things out. But there's uh, some type of motif going here. A lot of people think it's a very Egyptian looking at times. I don't really want to say, but, you know, you get that feeling. Let's look at another image here, the last one. Uh, this one, we've blurred the background. So we can look at this about 20 foot tall pyramidal looking shape. And when you look at it like this, it just it almost doesn't look real. See a lot of metallic looking shapes and uh, metallic shapes, metallic substances and odd shapes uh, such as through there. You can tell something's going on here. Don't think this is a natural formation at all. I'm not saying it's a pyramid like Earth, but it's we've definitely seen them in other images. It's pretty amazing, folks. What do you think? Let me know. Earth, Mars. What are we looking at? 
See you again real soon.